Good morning and welcome to Good Day Washington. I'm Wyatt Henderson and I'm reporting to you live from the President's residence on a cold New Year's Day, 1863. Today, President Lincoln has released a groundbreaking proclamation that said, and I quote, all persons held as slaves within any state or designated part of a state shall be then thenceforward and forever free. He goes on to say that no one should try to keep these people as slaves or keep them from being free. The President's proclamation then lists these areas and states that are exempt from this following rule. It only applies to states that had already been seceded from the Union and had not been returned to Union control. So if I understand this correctly, this only applies to slaves in Confederate controlled states. So the slaves were not free until the Union won the war. So this proclamation does not in fact free all the slaves or end slavery. This appears to be more of a symbolic gesture. It doesn't change the fact that slavery exists, but it does add meaning to the Civil War. It changes the war from being one trying to bring together the North and South to being a war on slavery. I spoke with some near passerby here in Washington who were very pleased to hear the, of the President's proclamation. A Mr. Frederick Willard, who was taking a stroll with his lovely wife Rachel, said that he was, and I quote, hopeful that this day would come and encouraged by the bravery of our fine President. I am hopeful that this proclamation brings a peaceful end to the war and that every man can enjoy the beauty and opportunities of our great land. From the grounds of President's Residence in Washington, I am Wyatt Anderson for Good Day Washington. Back to you, Jay. Of Gettysburg in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Right here where I'm standing is the site of the Battle of Gettysburg, one of the bloodiest battles of the Civil War and also where President Abraham Lincoln gave an important and moving speech today, November 19, 1863. President Lincoln's speech, or Gettysburg Address, was given at the official dedication ceremony for the National Cemetery here in Gettysburg. Lincoln was not the main speaker today, but his address was clearly the most popular with the crowd of 15,000. Edward Everett, the former Secretary of State, spoke over two hours before Lincoln took the podium. Lincoln's speech took less than two minutes and was 272 words long. Lincoln expressed his belief that the Civil War was the ultimate test of whether the Union created in 1776 would survive. He noted that the dead had died for a great cause, and it was the job of the living to make sure that, and I quote, government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from this earth. President Lincoln reminded the crowd that this government that was formed in 1776 was based on the principles of equality. He re redefines the Civil War as war for human equality as much as it is for the Union. One of the crowd members I spoke to after the dedication said he was moved to tears by Lincoln's speech and would never forget his elegant words. Those words reminded us of our founding father's vision for country, the test that our country's civil war has brought upon us, and honored the soldiers who died for our cause. I can only hope that President Lincoln's words will stay with, with us for the rest of this bloody war and show us all what we were fighting for. Now back to you in the studio.